Hi, this is Kevin with DIY WordPress Marketing, and I'm going to show you today how to integrate a lead capture form into an Elementor page without paying for it. So I'm going to start by going to, uh, to MailChimp. Log in. I expect the saved credentials are not going to be the ones I want. Go to sign up forms here. Now you get a choice of the different forms you can use. I'm going to use an embedded form. So look at it, see what the form's gonna look like. That looks pretty okay to me. I've copied this. I go back. You get a couple choices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pop-up box. Uh, that's not what I was intending to press. And I'm going to call it MailChimp Sign Up. And the truth is, you can you can uh, make use any marketing software you want to do this type of integration and no content bars zero widgets full width uh, don't worry about that I might even use the Elementor canvas for this one I'm going to publish waiting for this to finish publishing. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Oh, my landing page is unreachable. Never fails that this stuff always wants to fail when you're shooting video. Anyways, I shouldn't need MailChimp anymore. this half a second to recover Let's try this once more. So here it is. 
Edit or publish. It's time I published Edit with Elementor. If I get a notification, it's because I don't have this set up right. Sometimes that happens to me. Um, perfect. So I'm going to add a section, add a heading. And then we're going to add an HTML element. And in there, we're going to paste that embed code. So clearly, I can go through and I can change any of this in the HTML. Not that hard. If I want to know labels, I just have to actually go through and, and make that happen. I'm OK with this. save this I'm going to go back to dashboard I'm going to reset all these things that I had said earlier okay so these are pretty cool what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to pages and I set up this Elementor example yesterday so I'm going to edit that with Elementor and this add-on I added yesterday it's the pop-up boxes for Elementor it allows you to create a modal screen. Now, you could have put this directly on this screen too, right? I could dump an HTML field here and dump the form in there, and it looks pretty okay. Um, you're going to have to know a lot of CSS to get it to style the way you want it, um, which for most people is their actual Achilles heel. So let's see what the settings are here. It's justified right. So we'll call it sign up. Set it right. It's large. Don't need to set the link there. Large. No icon selected. Type is default. Type is default. All right, you have a style. Typography is on. I'm just going to steal this color here. Play fair display. Looks pretty close, but they don't have an uppercase. Uppercase zero. Screw that right up. Let's see if I can get a text color there. It's probably just white. Two, yeah, close enough. I mean, I can go get the exact numbers, right? So, border radius of two, border radius of zero, border width of two, color green, does colors nothing, hovers the opposite, except they've also got a transparent. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to click save. The last thing I need to do is tell it which modal I'm using. I only have one, so I knew it was going to default. Um, save once more, and then we're going to view this page. Now, I haven't done anything with this modal. You're going to want to play with it a little bit, but 
bam, you now have a sign up. This will go directly to your MailChimp and you're good to go. Um, and again, like I said, every single, uh, every single email marketing software has a forms creator to make these forms that you can embed on the pages. You get pop-up code, you can just dump that into an HTML or you can use other web methods and I can show other methods for the pop-up in the future. Um, I don't suggest using a timed pop-up unless you're triggering with a scroll event um, or an immediate pop-up. But that should get you to this point. Like I said, now you can just sign up. I don't think I've ever signed up as this email. Oh, and then I lost it. And subscribe. Boom. Thank you for subscribing. If I go back to here and I look at my list, I have two subscribers. One of them is me, where I just subscribed, and it happened just seconds ago. All right, thank you for watching how to integrate a MailChimp form with Elementor. Uh, the free version to complete that entire task that I just did is actually completely uh, free, other than having to have WordPress set up and knowing how to copy and paste. Uh, thanks again. If this video was helpful, please subscribe. If you enjoyed it, please like, and if you want to comment on how much I stuttered tonight, go crazy. I feel like this is going to be one of those videos that's like that. Thanks. Bye.